And welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we're going back to basics a little bit. This is going to be a very simple and quick one. This is our recipe for uh, pizza dough. So very, very simple and uh, delicious pizza dough here. We're going to be making pizza on these next week. We're going to show you a few different options, but of course um, your imagination is the only limit for that. But let's start off with our ingredients. So we're going to start off with some flour, some water, some olive oil, we're going to use an egg, some milk, some sugar, uh, and salt, and some dry yeast. Now this is instant dry yeast, so we don't need to bloom it or anything before we add it to the uh, to the mix. If you have um, non-instant, <laughs> then you will need to bloom it. Now, we're going to add the yeast first. You can see uh, with the salt there, we don't want to add the yeast and the salt at the same time. Uh, because the salt will kill off some of the yeast. So what we're going to do is add the yeast, the sugar, the water. We're going to get the uh, uh, the milk in there as well. Basically, we're going to add everything and uh, get the mixing started. Now, the proportion of the liquids, uh, we're going to add our olive oil as well. The proportion of the liquids is going to change a little bit if it's particularly dry out or if your flour is particularly dry uh, you might need to up the amount of water but you can change that later all the rest of these ingredients uh, we would recommend keeping to roughly the same amount that we have here and the amounts are going to be in the description below so there's our egg that's the last ingredient we're going to add right now and we're going to start the mixer So we have the bread hook on our stand mixer here. It is possible to do this by hand, but it's a lot more work. So we're just going to let that mix, and once it's well combined, at that point we're just going to sprinkle in the salt. Uh, you don't want to wait too late to add the salt because you'll end up with some clumps uh, of salt throughout your dough, uh, and you don't want to do it too early or it can inhibit the yeast, so that's about the right time. So. You can see here the um, the dough is starting to come together. Uh, everything's coming away from the walls, but if it feels dry, if it doesn't seem like it's quite uh, stretchy or tender enough uh, for a pizza dough, you can add water in small amounts, so just a couple tablespoons at a time, until it's reached the consistency that you like. So you can see here the hook is giving it a good knead, and it is just about ready at this point. It's still actually a little bit dry at this point so um, we're gonna stop it here now it's got some good gluten development already and uh, everything's ready to everything seems pretty close to being ready to go the dough is nice and smooth it's picked up everything off the sides of the bowl and you can see here it has some pretty uh, pretty good gluten development it's, uh, it is tearing a little bit, but that might also be because it needs to rest at this point. It's been uh, getting kneaded quite a lot. So we're going to form that into a ball and give it just a light coating with oil. And that's going to go back into this bowl. And uh, we are going to just, uh, just let this rise for a little while. We want to let this proof. We're going to let the yeast do its job. It's going to eat some of that sugar. It's going to make some bubbles and... Uh, make a really nice fluffy and uh, risen dough. So we're going to cover that with a clean towel and just let that sit in a warmish spot until it just about doubles in size as you can see here. So this is the same dough and it, it got really really big and uh, at this point we're going to punch it down. We're going to get rid of most of those air bubbles. We're just going to squish it down and give it a just sort of a gentle kneading at this point. You can see it's got pretty firm uh, gluten development in there. So you can see it's good and stretchy. It's uh, got a nice smooth outside. It's a good uh, tender dough. It's not super, super tough or anything. And we're going to divide this up into separate pieces. And these are going to be in for individual pizzas. So uh, easiest way to keep them even is to cut in half and then cut in half again. If you want a lot of precision, you can always measure them on a kitchen scale. We didn't go, <laughs> we didn't go quite that far, but uh, we're just going to roll these into balls. 
and just make sure they're good and uh, formed into little balls and we're going to wrap those in saran wrap. Now we wanted to pretty much stop the uh, fermentation, we wanted to stop the rising of the yeast at this point, so these are going to go into the freezer until we're ready to use them, and uh, here's a sneak peek of next week's video of our pizzas, and uh, it turns out really, really great. It's a beautiful and simple pizza dough recipe, uh, really, really delicious, great texture, lots of air, it's not really a thin crust pizza, it's more of a bready, uh, regular, sort of uh, thick uh, crust pizza, but it's really really good. So we hope you'll give this a try if you like this recipe Please do like and subscribe and if you have any recipes you'd like to see chef Caleb try on the channel Please let us know in the comments below and remember to love your food